You guys, I have the quinoa here. Let me go back up. This is the quinoa, but it's a long time ago and I've not cooked this since then. So I checked on YouTube to see some recipes. So I'm going to be trying um, to see. I saw one like fried rice quinoa. I want to try and see if I can cook something like that with carrot, bell pepper, and with this uh, chicken breast. Okay, that is here. So just like, let me try and see. I've never tested it before. This is my first time. So this quinoa, and I'm going to be and I'm going to be making a large quantity. I hope it comes out very well. So guys, the first thing to do with the quinoa, okay, quinoa, quinoa, depends on how you want to pronounce it. So I will be pronouncing it this way, quinoa. All right, so it's to take the quantity of the quinoa that you need, okay? Like uh, I used like half of it, let me just say, all right? And I'm going to wash it, okay? You know, quinoa, like all my research that I made, it shows that quinoa tends to be bitter. There are other people that did theirs, um, they didn't wash it, they soak it like two hours, one hour before washing it. But I decided to go with this process of washing it, okay, very, very well. Because when you're washing, it's just like washing rice, okay, when you're washing rice, you see the water, look at the first water, see that it is dark, it is not clear. So I'll continue this process. I'll continue to wash it like this, okay, with my hands, all right, squeezing it just the way you're seeing it in the video. They are very, very tender, so you need to be very, very careful so that other than a tender or they're very, very small. You need to be very, very careful so that uh, you will not um, pour them away, all right. This process, I'll continue it like this until the water is very, very bright. Then I know my quinoa is uh, clean and ready, okay. So I use this method and at the end of the day, when I finished cooking this quinoa, it didn't, it, the taste wasn't bitter because I ate that quinoa tastes bitter if you don't wash it very well or you don't cook it very well or you don't do it very well. So if you're new here, please uh, consider to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I hope you learn one or two things and I hope you enjoy watching. Uh So guys, now that I finished washing the quinoa, I'll just add them into the pot, okay? And I'll add water to it. That's just the next process, okay? Before putting, or rather taking it to the fire or cooker where I want to cook it, okay? So you add the quantity of water, depends on the amount of quinoa you want to cook. You use your eye, okay? Not go put too much water, because if you add too much water, it will come day too soft. So you don't want your quinoa to be soggy or soft or overcooked. You don't have to add too much water.
hey guys so now my quinoa is ready take a look at that okay i didn't show you guys i added just a pinch of salt to this quinoa before cooking it so take a look at that it's it turned out so so nice okay it's not looking too soft or too overcooked it's cooked very very well and yeah this is it it is uh, ready so right now i will do the next process okay this is my chicken breast i'll spice it up just the way you're seeing in the video uh -huh. so after adding my seasoning it's time to make my quinoa fried rice guys this fried rice this quinoa fried rice it tastes so nice you want to try this out okay so i added my onion garlic and scotch bennet pepper into the pan i added olive oil before now all right so you can also use granite oil if that's what you have all right it's not uh, a must that you must use olive oil but i love to use olive oil in most of my cooking so i'll just uh continue to like um fry it just the way you're seeing in the video and i'll add one or two spice okay the spice you can add any one you like okay so i added thyme i'll just add the spice that i want okay you too can use any spice of your choice so i'll stir and now i'm going to go in with my chicken breast that i seasoned the other time and i'll allow my chicken breast to uh, stir fry a bit before i'll come in with my other ingredients okay if you're watching up to this point i want to say a big thank you to you thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe if you not done so already and also don't forget to give the video a huge thumbs up i really appreciate you hey guys now that i finished uh stir frying my chicken breast it's time to add my veggies okay you can use any veggies of your choice so these are just my mixed veggies that i just uh shopped i did them off camera i didn't show you guys so that this video will not be too long so i'll just stir fry this one for about four to five minutes so that the um uh, uh, what's it called the veggies will not cook too much then i'll come in with my quinoa so i decided to add more of the olive oil just a pinch okay so that the uh, veggies will not get burnt so that is what i just did <laughs> So you guys i just added some sweet corn to my veggies okay guys so you guys now it's time to go in with my quinoa which is the chef of the day is it the chef or the yoga yes the yoga of the day not the chef of the day so i added all the quinoa and i will stir fry it for 
a while let me say about five minutes and my quinoa fried rice is ready if you know you know this tastes so nice i never expected this to come out this way because this is actually my first time cooking quinoa and also my first time eating quinoa it tasted so nice i'll be, I'll be doing this often you want to try this out let me know in the comment section if you're going to try this recipe this tastes so nice i really enjoyed eating it okay yeah Hey guys, our quinoa fried rice is ready. <laughs> so I'll just serve it and cook and eat with me, guys. Yeah, come and join me in the table as I eat this delicious quinoa fried rice. Uh -huh. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't also forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I will be seeing you in my next video. So this is Vlogmas Day 6, if I'm not making a mistake. Yes, Day 6, all right? Yeah. You guys, take a look at that. I tasted it earlier. It tasted nice. So nice. But I want to like, like let you guys know. It actually looks so nice. Take a look at this goodness. This is a complete meal. Complete loaded with enough vegetables. I find my first time. Eating quinoa or oh. eating it and cooking it. I'll be doing this often. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. I can cook, sir. I will cook. Mm. Ah. I will cook. Uh. Anyway, this tastes nice. Let me know. I'm not joking here. I'm from Nigeria, I can't put spice, I can't pepper. Hmm. The pepper says take on one another level. Man, we know you're sweet out of the cooker. Very healthy meal. Man, I don't joke, it is nice. Anyway, let me go enjoy my meal. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna finish it in. I want to say a big thank you for watching up to this point. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and to share it to your friends, family, and loved ones. I'll see you in my next video. Signing out from me. Bye. Ciao.